Can a 6'1 person fit inside of an Indy Miata? We won't find out. So a super easy way to make a lot more room inside that car is by lowering the seats. I actually run two different brands of seat lowering rails uh, on each seat for different reasons. We're going to talk about things like the difference in installation difficulty and time because if you're installing them yourself versus getting a shop to do it, there's a huge difference. Uh, pricing. Pricing money. Is it worth it? Probably. We're going to find out. Shotgun. How tall are you? Six one. Six one? But my leg length is longer than your leg length. Your torso length is longer yeah. than mine. Yeah. Which is why whenever I sit down at any table, I look short than everybody else. But when I stand up, I'm same height. So <laughs> we're both six one. Oh, that's but recording. He's... Yeah, weird. Oh, shit, I didn't know that was recording. So we're both six one, but he's got a taller bottom half. So with it all the way back like it is, leg room is sufficient. It's not a five series, but, yeah, but it'll be just it is fine. plenty. You got plenty of room to wiggle the knees around, you know, pedals and stuff. Plenty of room over there. Man, you look bunched up over there. Well, the passenger side is also smaller than the driver's side. You'll see how much room I have over there, but I'm a little, I'm a little cramped and uh, get that out of here. I have comfortably spent hours right here, but you know, it's not a five series. Oh, okay. Okay. On the passenger side, you know, it's a little more cramped, but that's fine. Passengers. I'm not Let's trade it. seats. So on the driver's side, I am not nearly as much stuff. For me, you know, being a little bit bigger in general, I still have plenty of room. You know, I don't think got, I could heel toe in these boots for sure. I've got plenty of room. Got room around the knees. Let's put the top up and take a look at headroom. So with the top up, uh, I mean, as you can see, I'm not completely shoved in here and I'm wearing a hat, like, you know, got some room. My normal driving position here, got some, yeah, I mean, like it's not touching. I don't have all of the room, but it's not touching. You know, I can sit up and boop, but my normal driving position, I've got plenty of room. How much room do you have over there? All of the room. Even though the, the seat's not like that one, I still have a lot of room. And I got a lot of room on the head yep. also. Headroom wise, feeling pretty good over there. Oh yeah. No, <laughs> no real concerns. No, I'm good. I think the bigger difference is how you fit in here with a helmet on. Because most people can fit in one, but like not with a helmet. I couldn't. Not in a stock car. So let's grab a helmet real quick. I'm a little bit more scrunched than my normal driving position, but it's manageable. Like, I can drive like this just fine. Does your head touch the roof? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it pretty consistently touches the roof, but you try it out. All right. I fit just fine. Yeah. So that's the difference. Both of us being 6'1 and me just having a bigger top half. Let's put the top down and hit it with the broomstick test. We've got our handy dandy broomstick here. So go ahead and have a seat in there. You can see we still got plenty of room. Nowhere even close. Plenty of room. Let me take a look. Trade these. You got room. So.
yeah, I mean, I have to scrunch a little bit, but. Yeah. Without those seat rails, this would be impossible. Let's go find out. So since my car is already converted, we went to go see our friends over at Ike Mazda. Big thanks to them for letting us come monkey around in their car for a little while. doesn't matter how much I duck, I could never have a comfortable driving position. It is way high. With that. I really hope that translates on camera. Yeah, it's not even close. It's, there's no way that you could possibly. It's stupid. All right, so as far as leg room, it still looks pretty same, same. Uh, you don't really gain any light room from the, the C rails. Like, it really just straight drops you. Okay. Take a look. Feel the difference sitting in that compared to mine. Oh yeah, there's, there's a major difference now. It's I can feel it. Ridiculous difference. You're a solid pass right there, but... But that's not comfortable. It's, <sighs> this no, is comfortable right here. You sit all the way up like a normal person. Yeah. It's definitely, definitely closer than it was before. Let's uh, go ahead and put the top up. It's not like mine. You should have to hold it the whole time. How do you feel about the headroom in there? Can you tell a pretty big difference there? Oh yeah, 100%. I can feel that I'm being pushed farther up from where the fulcrum of the seat is, and it's actually pushing me forward like this. And with the rails that you have, it's more bucketed so that it actually holds you a little bit better. They say it makes you feel like you're sitting in it instead of on top of it. Yeah, yeah, that's pretty much it. Yeah, that's exactly how I feel. Same, same for the leg room, but I can, I can feel that, that height difference. Yeah. Even in a six one, you know, yeah. <laughs> I feel like I'm on top of it instead of I'm in it. Yeah. Let's throw the top back down for him and get out of here. So I'm realizing an edit that we didn't get shots specifically of us wearing a helmet in the stock car with the roof up. And I think that's because it's absurd. There, there is no reasonable driving position. Because there's no reasonable driving position in that car with a helmet on for someone of my size, especially. <laughs> Alex would be a little tight. He would have to scrunch just a little bit. It's so bad for me. The day after we took delivery of my Miata, I was already signed up for an autocross, and uh, I had not done the lowered seat rails yet. It was so cramped in there trying to wear a helmet, I had to run with the top down even though it was raining. There was no amount of, like, this. Now look at this. Look, look at this and then picture it with the top up. Like, it's not realistic. Anyways. So hopefully this was a good demonstration that you really need to lower your seat rails. This one's running a little long, so we're going to go ahead and end it here. In the next video, we're going to talk about the differences between the different aftermarket offerings. We'll touch on those details like pricing and installation. Thanks for watching and don't let the subscribe button hit you on the way out.
Unless you have the frame of a 12 year old gymnast. Unless you're Unless you're Oh, you can't say that. That's illegal. No, stop it. FBI, open up!